this your boy Fat Boy SSC, man. You watching Remy TV with Positivity Lives, man. You already know that way. Fat Boy, yeah. Boy, having represented Infamous Small Deep, and right now you watching Remy TV with Positivity Lives. What's up? It's your boy Slim 112. Hey, this is Remy TV, where positivity lives. Hey guys, you are watching another episode of Remy TV, and I am here with two special guests. Hallie Williams and Sean Harrison yeah. from uh, one of my favorite TV shows, Family Matter. We hope so, you didn't know. <laughs> oh, it was my favorite uh, television show coming up. Really? Yeah, it was an uh, uh, inspiration because you guys have messages yeah. and a bunch of dope stuff. Okay. So thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah, thank you. Um, I wanted to know, did you guys always want to be actors? You want to take this first? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was your first passion? Uh, I was actually I got pushed into it because my parents thought I was so quiet, I was so shy, I didn't really talk that much. So they thought I was strange. I was about to start school, so they put me into it. Did and you say they thought you were strange? Yeah, I was about to start. I didn't talk very much. Only people I talked to was old people. Oh, other than that, I wouldn't talk. <laughs> this makes so much sense now. This <laughs> makes so much sense. Does it? Yes, because your connection with the older women is like instant whenever you meet like they become like a auntie a cousin like almost instantaneously or instantly no you don't see that maybe yeah okay i'll take it okay <laughs> <He's so funny. laughs> anyway uh, yes so, i'm so sorry uh, they thought i was strange so they were like oh no you gotta do better you're about to start school so they put me into theater class and i enjoyed it so much that i just wanted to keep going back and that's right. how i got into Theater. So like four, five? Yep. Four. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Same with me. Around four, my mother told me that I looked at TV and was like, I want to do that. And so she found a workshop locally, uh, put me in it, did a decent job. There was an agent there and the agent requested to take a meeting with me, took a meeting with the agent. The agent said, hey, I want to represent your kid. Mm -hmm. And then I just started the process. And then along the way, you kind of fall in and out of love with it. So yeah. you constantly have to be reminded of why you enjoy doing what you do. Right. What, what was your first passion? Um, I'm not really sure. Dance. I take that back. Dance was my first what? passion. Yeah, you got to see him tap dance. What? <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. I, I'm oh, too old. Like, I mean, like, for real, for real. Like, yeah, I used to be able like, to. Yeah, I started ta taking tap lessons when I was... Jumping <laughs> the table was, like, amazing. Because you, like... Like the Nicholas God. Brothers back in the day. Like, I, I could have gotten to that level. I didn't oh, quite wow. reach that That's level. I didn't know about you. Yeah, so tap dancing was, like, definitely my first passion. passion. First love. Passion. What's your first passion? No passion. The, the lies you tell. What, what is it? Uh, <laughs> food. Food. Fashion. Mm, fashion, of course. Um, All the Fs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, okay, we're gonna let that one slide. We're not, we're not gonna touch that one. We're gonna, oh, y'all went dirty with it. Where? You went dirty with it too. <laughs> Come on. You know you were thinking the same thing, weren't you? You said food and fashion. Mm -hmm. and See, but, you said well, that. <laughs> <laughs> but that part, yeah. the, all of it. Oh okay, mm -hmm. we gonna, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, we gonna back out of that one. <laughs> um, so Kelly, mm -hmm. um, I heard you was coming out with a children's book. Is that true? I'm working on a children's book. I'm not coming out with children's book. I'm working on a, a children's book with my two best friends mm -hmm. about our time in theater in the theater um, program that we used to be in when we were, when we were young. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so I heard that you was also in a movie. I read something on IMDb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about it? But you're not giving me any particulars. You're just like in a movie. Yeah, so I, let me see what this movie is. Yeah, called. tell me. Tell me um, about this. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So I did a cameo in that. Uh, my buddy Kelby. He wrote, directed, and produced the film, and so he hit me up, and he was like, hey, Sean, he was like, I have this part that I want you to, I want you to play a minister. And he was like, would what? you do it? What? And <laughs> Kelly, why, that's why the overreaction? Acting. That's that, a real actor. That's a real actor, for Baby, real? Baby, that's a stretch. You see what I got to deal hey, look. with? Okay, 20-some so odd years of this. 20-some odd years of this. You this like is ridiculous. Me. I get you no like respect. Oh, you so like anyhow, me. as Go I was ahead. saying. How he, was it? 
It was. <laughs> She's now the interviewer. You're the big G. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was it was a good time. It was a good time. So uh, he gets jilted, uh, left at the altar. So it was a fun oh. little scene to be a part oh, wow. of. Uh huh. And actually, the, the interesting that you brought it up right now because it's going to start streaming. I think in about two weeks. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm dying to see it. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Are you guys doing anything now? As far as like. Um, TV shows. We're trying to get a Family Matters reboot popping. <laughs> that would make my whole life. Listen, we keep trying to tell people we need the fans to be vocal about it. In particular, Can we do it? hit up Warner Brothers. Oh, like, yeah. you guys come to us directly and we have no control over the situation. There are actually entities involved that are part of the business side of things that right. are going to help move things forward. So if you can hit up Warner Brothers and keep saying, hey, please, please, please bring back Warner Brothers. As you know, there was a mention in Warner Media mm -hmm. about their streaming service that they're doing that they might want to reboot it. So just hit up all of the Warner entities and be like, hey, we want that show. Right. We want to bring it back. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So yeah, we definitely going to do that today. <laughs> all my Ready TV people, we going to do that because that made my whole life. Um, what I wanted to know about you was, well, not well, the show in particular. Mm -hmm. I know you guys left us with the scene with um, you and Steve um, after you came down from space mm -hmm. and with the kissing scene, right? At the end. But you no, know, we, we did before he went to space. Oh, we never saw it after he came back. Oh, so I don't know. I must be confused with the episode that I saw because I was like, how come they didn't do a wedding? We want to see a wedding. Episode. That's why, because they were saying that when he came back, they thought it was going to end up in that way. Mm. Because they were finally together. But uh, we never got married on the show. That's why we wanted to see the family. Right, because we seen the plans the, and right. stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I was all hyped. I was like, yeah, because he wore her down. And <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I want to see the wedding. <laughs> That's right. He, he wore her like, down. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, hopefully there's a reboot because I want to see the kids. That's a great accent. Home. Where are you from? New York? Huh? Where are you from? No, I'm from here in Rhode Island. Are you? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That's an interesting accent. Well, you know, um, I have family that live out there, so I'm always back and forth between my whole life. I was going back and forth out there. Yeah, okay. it's, very, it's very New York. Yeah. yeah. Very you know, New York. Yeah. Um, I wanted to know, like, with your kids, too, mm -hmm. do they say, wow, mom, you was on TV? And... You're no, famous. they just want me to make dinner and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you just regular to them, right? Right. Mm. Great. Um, <laughs> can I get some dinner pop and Laura? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, hilarious. Stupid. What about you? Do you have any children? No, I do not have married? any kids. No. Mm -mm. Single. Be? No kids. No, I think I'm too old now. No, you're not. No, 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 no. I am. I'm too old. I'm too honorary. I'm too no. Sean would be no, the best. I'm prickly. To actually marry no. somebody just like Sean. Sean she would be the that. best husband. He would be the best husband. You, <laughs> other than the grumpiness. Oh. oh no no no! I'm very grumpy, very grumpy. I have very thing like don't talk to me in the morning. No I, no no! Don't talk to me in the morning. Have your coffee. And no no no! Not even coffee. Just oh. I need time to get right with myself. Get right with the universe, get right yeah. with God, like work on all of these things that are just sort of settled here, mm -hmm. release it, and then I'm ready. But you know, people wake up, morning! No, <laughs> no, no, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's her. Bring that down. Oh, Bring that down a little you bit. You remember on, uh, what's the bugs, but on the Warner Brothers? Hey, Spike. Yes. Because yes. that's yes. how we're like together. I'm yes. like, shine, shine. Yeah, yeah, and I'm looking like, like this. Kelly. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly. So he's just Stop like laying Kelly. back and just. Right. And I'm like, and I, I was laughing because I'm like, I can't believe I married Sean. <laughs> I married, it's the exact same personality. It's like if Garfield the cat was a person. <laughs> oh my God. You think it's that bad, Kelly, for real? Okay. I want to I'll take married. it. What? Uh, with kids. No, 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 yeah, no, no. He's no, really good no. with kids. Five. And that's a funny thing. Little kids love him, too. Yeah, a little I bit. Like, 50% of the time, kids, like, take a liking. Because I don't show them any attention. You know, they want to get, they want to die. <laughs> and I hate bad kids too. That's oh, I know that. Bad kids are the worst. You know, people, they be raising these badass kids. You oh, be out somewhere, God. you be like looking at the kid. So you're not gonna get your kid? Right. And then I start looking at the parent like. Girl, don't congratulate this foolishness. <laughs> no, because everybody's experiencing Kelly. Don't act like you don't know. You be walking through a store and a kid be throwing a tantrum, and you be thinking know, to yourself, I'm gonna rough that kid up like a little that. bit. That's the funny thing about us, too. We were all raised pretty much the same way, and it was an old school way. Yeah, you got the talking so, to before you went in. Listen. <laughs> don't. Don't ask me for no kids. Exactly. And then, and, then, and then, you know, your parent gave you that look, and you knew you were like, all right, I didn't test at the limit too right. much. Let me fall back. Right. Remember, make big mom pat, don't play. Sean, <laughs> <laughs> you have a skit about my mother. She was a doozy. Yeah. 
<laughs> old school black parent. You know how it is. And then, and those are the parents that raise you right. Because oh, yeah. this generation of parents is totally... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, the crazy. pendulum has swung a bit. I'm hoping that it will swing back. Me too, so. woman too. It's yeah. very disrespectful and ooh. some great stuff that I seen. I was like, ooh, who's yeah. your mom? I need to talk to her. <laughs> so, oh, could you guys tell me about your audition for Family Matters? Do you uh, remember? Yeah, I remember mine. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so my audition was um, a little interesting. Uh, as most people can remember, I came on as the bully's best friend. So there was a Willie character. I originally auditioned for the Willie character, which was the bully. So I go in, I audition, and I leave the room, and I'm walking down the hallway getting ready to go. And the cast director had come into the hallway he, to get my attention. He was like, Sean, Sean, Sean hey, would you do um, us a favor and read for this other character in Waldo? And I was like, uh, okay. So when he asked me to read, I automatically knew I didn't book the other character. So I was a little, you know, down. But I was like, okay, let me take a look at this stuff. So I started looking at the material. I can't figure out what the crap this is. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Right. This is supposed to be funny. I don't know what to do with this. So I play with it for about five minutes. And then they're like, are you ready? I'm like, cool. I walk in the door. Um, I'm ready to go, and um, I'm thinking, how can I just speed through this and get out of the door? And so the very first line of the character said is, what are you going to do, Willie? And so me, I just sort of threw the whole thing, threw, threw it away and said, what you going to do, Willie? Mm -hmm. And the scene kept going, and they started laughing, and I'm like, what's going on here? They laughed, they laughed. <laughs> it was over, and then they were like, thank you for coming back in for us. I was like, cool. I leave, and a few hours later, I, call, I got the phone call that I had booked the, the part. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool story. Yeah, so that's my audition story. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, okay. Um, what? <laughs> and my, well, my story was I went to, uh, my parents actually got the call from a local manager. Mm -hmm. We shot the audition in my family's basement mm -hmm. and sent it to L.A. They called me back. I had an audition in New York. Mm -hmm. Then they flew me out to California for a, a last audition. And it went great. That's that, awesome. that audition in New York was the best audition I've ever done. Really? Mm hmm that's yeah. cool. That's yeah. cool. Um, seeing you on TV and being a black woman and a brown skinned woman, I was like, yes! <laughs> yes! So because we don't have that. We don't we need we need more of that. We need to see it because a lot of, you know, me growing up, people yeah. used to, oh, you're half Nigerian, so you ain't this or you ain't that. Like, no, I know you ain't that. I'm just cute. like, what? You know, so you went that went through that growing up so mm -hmm. just seeing you on television i'm like yes come on black women are beautiful stop don't treat us like that thank you and you was gorgeous girl i was like oh, oh my goodness you did that hair, you. the haircuts right because she inspired me to get a haircut but really? I, I could never get into the salon to to get the courage to do it oh really but yeah you made me want to uh, cut my hair like oh that. okay <laughs> what a lot of people don't know is kelly put a lot of time and thought into how she styled her hair mm -hmm. the outfits that she wore so she yes. was trying to. I've been on that show for sure. Yeah. For sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yep. You are welcome. Even though I look back at the show and I'm like, oh my God, what was I thinking with them? Really? I thought all oh, your looks were Do you look at course. it now? That, some of those outfits were questionable. I see questionable like, in what way? My lean in black boots that I used to wear at um, Rachel's place. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> look. I don't know. No. Sean was the first person to tell me I had knock knees. And <laughs> <laughs> Why do I keep being painted as the bad guy? Like, <laughs> this is unfortunate. That's what they're going to think. The way you're like, but well, he's so the lovable. Bible says that oh, the words of a friend are faithful. Listen, you tell people the truth. I, well, I do. And that's a loving but thing. But they don't to need do. to know that I'm that honest. He's not that honest. <laughs> now she's lying. Because I am that honest. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um. After the show ended, right? Mm -hmm. I know you guys been working together for many years. How did it feel to be like not going on set anymore? We hang out, especially for years after. I mean, I moved, and you know, we get older, and we yeah. do different things, but. We're friends outside the show. I love that. But it is a little bit strange because you're accustomed to doing a certain thing for a long time, and right. and work, at least in that environment. I can't say for every set. Even though it was work, it was really sort of playtime. It was like a workshop for us because we got to grow and learn as actors, performers. Uh, so we played a little bit in addition to doing work. And so one of the things that I always say is I don't think that we got the recognition that we deserved as a great ensemble cast because we had fantastic chemistry. And um, 
I wish more people would, uh, right. Cause you know. Because you got to see us together. Yeah. That's when it's really crazy. And but the crazy thing. guys together, I'm just like, oh. Like, but, you know? but here's <laughs> a, another thing, and I don't know if this is like a family type of thing, but no matter how long it's been that we haven't seen each other, as soon as we are all together, we fall into a rhythm mm -hmm. with one another. Like, the chemistry is the same offset as it is mm -hmm. onset. So it carried over after a minute. Like, everybody just became family right. pretty instantly. And chemistry is important. Cause I was mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Too, like, so... What do people do when they don't have chemistry on set? Do they just go oh, home? <laughs> oh, honey, you earn that money. Yeah. You have to earn it. You got to act. Yeah, yeah, you definitely and do. And we, I think we've all been a part of other situations where it's not like that. Mm -hmm. The cast doesn't really have, it's like really a show. Right. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's hard. Yeah. We actually liked each other on the yeah. show. Yeah, a lot. I love that. I love seeing his stuff like that. And I just love that it was all black ass. Mm. Yes. I was in my home like, mom, look, you know, they look like us. Because I was young, you know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And going to a school where it wasn't like that, mm -hmm. and seeing it on TV, I was yeah. like, oh, mom, you know, this is what I want. Okay. So it was dope. Well, welcome to the family, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to know, right, um, can you give advice to actors, well, upcoming actors that don't know how to start or what to do. Ooh. I'm going to defer to Sean. No, I was going to defer to you. What you talking about? <laughs> no, no, hey, no. hey, now. Hey, now. Because what Wait people don't know is Sean oh, is a great she... actor, but he's also a great acting coach. I tell her to stop mm -hmm. telling people this. They don't need to know so this detail. It well, is no, here's the thing. Her. I only will sit down and consult with people that I know, like friends. They'll be like, hey, can you go over this scene with me? I'll be like, but okay. This guy is so perfect. Like, he's able, you know, ever meet people who are able to break down the situation yep. real easy, quick? Like, you know, he's like an old person where you can just <laughs> ask them, like, something and they can break it down real quick. Why am I describe like this? Like, he's like an old person. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a person, a mature right. person. You yeah. know, you can tell them a little bit of something and they'll tell you what's really going on. Yeah. Sean is able to do that effortlessly. I don't know how he's able to compute. You know, whatever, what, but he's able to That's do that really so easy. Fun. That's dope. You know what I mean? I'll take it. You right. know, any compliment, you still have some. Thank you. Let me. I'm sorry. It's that bang. It's just be. I don't know. It's just messing there up. There you go. I don't, I don't want <laughs> you to look you. back at the footage and be like, why didn't y'all tell me? <laughs> no, why didn't you tell me about that? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, now, as far as getting back to the question, that's really a challenging one because there's no exact way that it has to be done. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I always like to start with is to tell people, if you get into any of those situations where, I know they do them in California, but I think they do them nationwide, where you go somewhere, it's like an open call. Hey, your kid or you want to be in modeling and acting and stuff like that. Okay, that sounds fine. But when you arrive and a part of the selling package is and you got to pay us for representation, mm -hmm. that's a no. You never do those types of situations. The way it works, and this is an industry strand standard, is your representation, whether it's management or an agent, doesn't get paid until you get paid. You don't pay them up front for anything. That's a really important detail to kind of know. Mm -hmm. Now, outside of that, it's really hard because there are only certain pockets where you can do certain things, right? So California has an industry, Chicago has an industry, Atlanta has an industry, New York has an industry, Florida has an industry, and then there are some few other states like New Mexico is starting to mm -hmm. beef up production out there, and for a while North Carolina had some stuff going mm -hmm. on. So if you aren't in any of those nearby locations, then it's a challenge for you. Uh, so but I always- you can still study. Yeah, you can study, and that's what I was about to say next. Be prepared for the job that you want, and the best way to prepare for that is to do some type of instruction. If you can get into a workshop, if you can't afford that, but you go to a school and they have a drama program or something like that, you want to we'll do take that. A class with Sean. Mm -hmm. I don't do classes. Here she goes again. She's trying to set me up, right? Okay, this is my manager right now. She's trying to pin me out. But anyhow, those are the kinds of things is, that work best for you. Yeah. And then when you get yourself into a situation where you are in some of those locations that I talked about, you can then go about the process of trying to submit yourself to agencies to see if you can get a meeting and then get representation. And then another little key thing that I will say, uh, and this really I think more so is, I think it's for any market, is one of the easiest points of access into the industry if you want to be an actor is to try to do commercial work. Try to get representation as a commercial actor, go out, pound the pavement, try to book something, uh, get yourself into the union, and that's 
you know, it gets you around yeah. people that are working. It gets you access to more information because some people get into the industry and they can do theatrical immediately because everyone wants to be a film or a television star. But you have to learn these other things that you possibly can do. Yeah. And then another thing that I'll say, because you guys know us from TV, be aware of other stuff that you can do. So stage is a possibility. Voiceover work is a possibility. You may not be an on-camera person. So if you got a great voice, character voices, you like animation, that's a thing. That's the industry. Research that. Uh, they have studios that you can do stuff for yourself. You don't have to go any t into any particular location. You can get representation of some websites for stuff like that. So I would say seek some of that stuff out. And that's information an about that too. Because I always ask people the bottom line question: Do you want to be a performer or do you want to be famous? Because that's two different mm -hmm. yeah. things. Also, mm -hmm. all the stuff he gave you is if you want to be a performer. Right. Like build up right. to being able to charge money for. From, right, you know, people, yeah. or do you want to just set up a YouTube channel and be right. cool on uh -huh. it and get yeah. that? Because I mean, you either way is perfect. Right, it's mm -hmm. just a different route. Yeah, right. So I'm glad you brought that up. So that's the other thing that the tail end of that is now we have a new thing where you can go about the process of trying to grow awareness for yourself yep. via YouTube and IG and stuff like that. And truth be told, as we have seen it. The industry takes a look at that, mm -hmm. looks at that, takes a look at that after a while. Mm -hmm. They see stuff and they say, like, okay, that person has great traction. Mm -hmm. We might invite them into like a Hollywood official ass. production. Mm -hmm. So that's another route that one can take. Right. Hopefully that's, that's helpful. Great. You that's see how great as a way. So you see what where she said about you? Well, I no, mean. You see how he break down a, a boom, yes. boom, 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 boom. It's so like a surgeon. Really and he's trying to lower it down. Exactly. Like, come on. You I just, I'll take the compliment. I'm a fan. Thank you. Thank you. You know it. Yes, though. He gave you some great advice, so <laughs> don't stand and try to help y'all. Because, you know what I'm saying? He gave you some good advice. Um, so we're going to play some games. Oh. I don't mind. Okay. So we're going to um, have you guys guess TV show theme songs and see who gets the right answer. I'm, um, I'm telling y'all right now, I'm about to embarrass myself. I don't know this stuff. <laughs> My brain so is we'll mush. back in like two seconds. <laughs> So we are back and we're gonna play a game. Okay. We're gonna get some television show mm. stuff. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna play the first one. Okay. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, I'm, yeah. so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are we just, are you throwing to one of us or either one of us just shout it out? Like, how, how yeah, do the rules work? We're one team. We're one team. We're team. We're team. team? Yeah. Oh, no, we're playing against okay. each other. Yeah, I want to see you guys. Oh, okay. But if okay. you want to be a team, you could be a team. We'll do be a team. We'll okay. be a team. Okay, all right. Hey, I don't get a vote. I don't get a say. No, come uh, on. Okay, fine. <laughs> Give them See what I'm talking about. She said she them. <laughs> Oh yeah, different world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. No, no, okay. no. Oh, we're not on teams. No, that's one one. You separated already. <laughs> you see? That's one one. Hey, we gotta abide by the rules that were established by our host. We can't be making she up stuff. She said we were one team. That's because she's trying to be nice to you. Come on, let's play fairly. Don't let him do that to you. Don't do that. We're together. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, fine. My bad. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so it's two zero, right? Oh, you in oh. it too? Well, because no. if we mess up, that's a point for the home team, right? Oh, okay, we could do it like that. That's right. A good idea. Right? Am I? Wait. Yeah. All right, let's go. This is just right. a free for all. I see. There ain't no damn rules. Okay, fine. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay, Kelly. It's my favorite show. Oh, that's a no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's good. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. She obviously watches like Boomerang all day long. <laughs> she watched that Boomerang Network. <laughs> I have one more. Oh, okay. Let's see if she can all guess right. it. No, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, Night Rider. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So we got all of them. Yes. Uh huh. What we gonna get? Oh. Yeah. What's the prize? A hug. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't set us up. I set y'all up. Oh man. I, I set y'all up. You mad? You well, mad? I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. I'm oh. not mad. I'm disappointed. I mean, come on. <laughs> I was hard. It's a game. Right. And it ain't no prize. Listen. But you changed the rules, I'll so buy she. I some food. I know you love some food, girl. Girl, I do love food, but it, but me you didn't tell me that up front, cause then oh. I would have been a little oh, maybe not so again. snappy. Oh. oh, okay. She was but giving her back. Now she wants to. Do separate. She said snap, like she was See, a team. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh. Look at her recreating the whole I'm not situation. Doing nothing is no prize. 
He could win the whole thing. He won. Oh, no, I didn't. What you talking about? Whatever. You got three, I got two. <laughs> if you separating, she won. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for coming on my show. Of I appreciate course. it so much. You guys are wonderful and thank positive. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. This is Remy TV, and we are out.